Hello, hi. Yeah, um, it's good to be back again. So I um, just wanted to share with you today a bit about um, Meta Stocks. Um, as you can see, um, Meta Stocks has actually, <clears throat> you know, um, gone down quite a bit uh, from its high of uh, 370 to $93. Um, so it's been pretty much affected by their third quarterly reports and also um, various uh, macroeconomic data. So I um, just wanted to share with you a bit about, um, you know, the various <clears throat> macroeconomic data that has been the latest came forward. You know, like, for example, today, Goldman Sachs did say that the Fed terminal rates may peak at 5%. It was uh, previously at around five, uh, four point five percent, and they expect the Fed to stop um, <clears throat> the rate heights at around four point five. But it looks like um, because of very sticky inflation that's going on, the the there's this higher possibility of um, Fed going up to five percent. Um, and then uh, other things that I wanted to share with you would be a new twist in the. Uh, Ukraine-Russia war, which is the grain deal, which is also very important. Uh, Moscow pulling out the grain deal, which is um, affecting um, um, the, the, the the stinging inflation, which of course, uh, higher inflation means that tech stocks generally will go down. And then you've got the oil, uh, OPEC as well, refusing to increase oil, oil uh, supply. And that also is affecting uh, the the oil prices and, of course, all the supply chain that um, requires energy to produce things or transport items and all that. So um, other things is, um, you know, bad news. Good news is bad news kind of thing, which is um, <clears throat> our GDP growth rates uh, for the third quarter has gone up to 2.6. Uh, you know, we had a you know, two technical recession which was uh, first and second quarter. Uh, and then this third quarter sh show that, you know, um, the purchasing power by consumer spending are still there, uh, which is not something that the Fed wanted to see. Um, the Fed has been wanting to actually look at um, um, price um, uh, GDP to go down to show that the economic spending, uh, economic uh, pace has actually go down quite a bit, but it hasn't happened. <clears throat> so, um, other things that are pretty important is, of course, you've got Twitter as well coming on board, you know, you know, uh, with uh, 20 months, uh, $20 per month uh, for the some corporations and all that to do announcements or their, uh, you know, uh, town hall kind of uh, scenario. Um, which is also a very interesting platform that will eventually come on board to compete with um, uh, Facebook uh, or an Instagram. And of course, uh, not, not taking into account of um, TikTok, you know, and short form videos and YouTube as well coming into the arena. So looking at the things that has been happening currently for Facebook, of course, there are threefold. One is a very high operating uh, expenses for the third quarter. Uh, they have not carried out any staff reduction or whatever or retrenchment. And then second is their capex. You know, of course, they actually have uh, three different type of capex. Of course, one is the AI capex, which I think makes sense. You know, um, to look at our consumer behavior. So in the AI will be able to read uh, each individual profile, what we like and what we don't like and targeted all those news and feeds to us. And the, the other second one is um, uh, CAPEX expenditure on data infrastructure. And I think because of reels coming on board, you know, you need a lot of short form videos and you need to store them. And it makes sense for this kind of CAPEX. Of course, the third one is there are reality labs which is something that is not uh, favorable by the <clears throat> uh, Wall Street. So, <clears throat> so and um, which is causing the uh, price to, to, to go down a lot because of this particular uh, self-inflicted uh, capex and high operating uh, expenses that's going on. And of course, the, thirdly, 
there is a, a share repurchase program and they bought put shares at price peak three hundred dollars. And that was also coincidental to the time where Mark Zuckerberg was selling his shares. You know, not sure whether this could be buying up uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg's uh, stocks at good valuation. And of course, then they have this increased long-term debts as well. Uh, 10 billion bond that they just issued. Um, these are the things that I think um, makes the stocks uh, kind of like a, in a very uninvestable uh, mode. So... I just wanted to bring you uh, to uh, the period when um, of 2015, when the cash on Meta was at 17.92 billion. And just wanted to share with you another part where the time in 2015, where the annual EPS was around 1.29. And then 2016, which is $3.49, What happened in third quarter of um, um, the the reports, it shows they had an earning per share of um, $1.40. So if you multiply by four, you're actually looking at around $5 to $6 kind of region. So which is, um, let's say, still a significant higher than probably this and and then if you look at the price at 215 216 um which is 350 to 4 dollars kind of uh, earnings per share annualized uh, base basis the share price was around 114 so um looking at this particular situation i see that actually uh, meta actually is a good stocks to buy right now you know, is it could easily go back to one twenty region. I don't see why not. And um, just this is actually the um, N plus. Of course, uh, this is a share buyback that I was mentioning earlier. And um, this is the MetaQuest headset that I was talking about the Reality Labs. And um, yeah, and the average price was three hundred and thirty on the share buybacks. And um, of course, the cash flow. Way back in 2005 was 18 million, and now they have about 40 billion cash. So if you look at the cash in hand that they have, plus the earnings per share, um, and relative to the current share price, it doesn't really do justice. Because uh, even if you look at 2015, 2016, when they were doing annualized basis of 3 to $4 um, uh, per share, um and at the time they only have cash in hand of around like you know 20 million the share price was already trading at around 20 dollars um a hundred dollars so now it's 93 92 dollars so it is actually something that we can consider uh to invest into this company right now so um yeah thank you very much uh hope you like the channel and please uh click like and subscribe thank you